Today we're going to look at merging cells in Google Sheets. So in Google Sheets, data is stored in these boxes called cells. Sometimes you may run a situation where you need to combine multiple cells, maybe two adjacent cells or maybe a block of cells. So we're going to show you today how to do that. Once you select the cells you want to merge, you can either go to Format, Merge Cells, and you can select the appropriate option, or you can simply go to the shortcut here and select the one you need as well. So first off, we're just going to go to Merge All, which is what happens when you click on this button. A heads up warning is telling you that when you merge cells, only value that's going to remain is the one in the top left cell. So in this case, we have this column here. And so what it's telling us is the only value that'll be left in this cell when we finish merging it is your favorite bar. So if we go OK, you can see now that your favorite bar is the only value left in here. Now to unmerge, we can simply click on this drop down, go to unmerge, and you can see that we go back to where we were but you can see that these values are no longer here. So keep that in mind that when you're merging cells with data in more than one cell, that you will lose the data that you had. So if you need to go back, we can just go back here or control Z to where we were. So let's review the other ways that you can merge cells. So let's say you want to merge horizontally. We can click this drop down and merge horizontally. We'll go OK. And you can see now that what's merged these columns into a single row. And so now the only thing that's preserved is the opportunity type. If we go back and unmerge, you can see that data is now lost. So we can go back and find that data again. Another thing we may want to do is merge our columns. And so we can do this by merge vertically. You can see now that just preserved the top value. One thing that some people may run into is maybe you want to merge these, but you actually want to preserve both values. And so what you may actually want to do here is create a new column. We can call this full name, and we can just use a formula to actually combine these two values. And so you can just combine it like this, or if you need extra space, you can add an extra ampersand with the space in between. We'll use our autofill, and you can see now that we have these values combined. So if this is what you're looking for, you can use this formula instead of merging the cells, as merging will not actually combine the data. And so finally, let's look at a new thing here. Let's combine these vertically. And let's take a look here at how we can reference the data in the cell. So if we click on this, we can see what it references is B3 which is the top left of this merged cell. So if we put that B3, C3, D3, we're getting these three values respectively. Now if we combine all of these, we can see now that B3 references to this entire cell. So if you're using a formula to reference merged cells, just keep in mind that it's going to be the upper left cell reference that's going to contain the value in the merged cells. All right, that is it for today. Tune back again soon for more tutorials.